Hey there, everybody in the FFBE Global Facebook group, and hello to everybody who sees this video on YouTube as well. Welcome to this week's episode of Ask an Old Mog, where we take a look at questions uh, that come from the Facebook Global um, FFBE group. Um, I said that backwards, FFBE Global Facebook group, and try to answer those questions in a visual way, talking about game mechanics and things like that to try and help newer players uh, figure some things out. Um, and this week is no different. Been seeing a lot of questions about this topic, and I think it's a pretty short and sweet video that we can talk about very quickly. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just dive right into it. So the question that I've been seeing kind of a wide uh, number of variations on is something like this. What's the deal with this event? Why do I keep dying at the end of the round? Um, and um, they are talking about, in particular, this event right here, the one cut of the undead or the challenge version, Don't Stop Slashing. Um, and so the reason you're dying at the end of your turn um, is potentially one of a couple different things. But the answer is almost certainly going to be zombie status so if you're not familiar with it zombie is a status effect inflicted by some cruel enemies that causes your units to take damage when they are healed or be instantly killed if they are targeted by a raise or life ability or if they are given a re-raise buff which you know a re-raise buff raises you up when you die and you're already dead so you're raised and it kills you um, and so that is what the zombie status is all about. Um, it's a very rare thing in this game. You cannot really do anything to prevent it. Um, but yeah, you just kind of have to deal with it. And so the question then becomes, how do we deal with it? Under normal circumstances, if you're targeted by zombie, um, you want to do one of a couple of things. Uh, either one, simply don't heal yourself or don't allow yourself to be healed. Defeat your enemies quickly and prevent damage. Um, and prevent heals altogether. Now, an example of uh, where this does not work um, would be the um, Scorn of Aemon fight, where Aemon targets your party with zombie and then casts a bunch of white magic at you because he's a jerk. Um, but you can seal that magic or you can reflect that magic so that it doesn't affect you, which is kind of cool. So you can use lots of different ways of preventing yourselves from taking damage. Um, but don't forget, you also have to deal with things like regeneration buffs or like regeneration effects on your armor or weapons or your espers like phoenix has a regeneration buff um, so you gotta be real careful if you know zombies coming make sure you don't wear anything like that that um may, may give you a regeneration buff because that will hurt you instead of healing you um if you have the zombie effect on you um, the other way of dealing with this under normal circumstances is just to remove the effect before you heal yourself um, so I'm going to show you three examples of units that can do that. Um, Kresnik, Kalmia, and Lotus Mage Fina. Now, the trick to this is um, each one of these works in slightly different ways. We're going to start with Kalmia. Uh, if you take a look at Kalmia's abilities, under special, she has one called Holy Aid. Um, the effect is it cures zombie for one ally. So it's kind of a, um, a not ideal way of dealing with it. She can cast this ability twice. Um, it's it's on the list of things that she uses with double medicine. So holy aid right here. So she can do this two times a turn, um, and just on one enemy, so or one ally. So really, at this point, it's kind of a you're putting a band aid on um, the 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 hole in the um, you know the wall that prevents the water from coming down and the the dam you're putting a band-aid on the dam oh gosh i lost it right there um and uh yeah so like it's not really that good you know if you if, if there's ever an enemy that does single target zombie um sure that'll work fine um let's think about another way of doing it though lotus mage fina um in her shift form not her break and not her base form so her shift form which is a trance shift unfortunately um she has white lotus blessing costs 150 MP, happens to remove zombie from all allies, so zombie, all allies, also does a bunch of other stuff, removes debuffs and does some heals and does uh, revives, which is, you know, kind of useful, um, but, and the nice thing is that it removes the zombie first, so then the effect of the revive comes later, so that's kind of cool, um, but again, she's a trance shifter, and her trance shift, if you look at it, um, it lasts for... Um, 
it really only lasts one turn and then it, you you cool down. So it's, it's very limited your ability to use hers. Um, a better way of dealing with zombie is Kresnik. Um, in his base form, if you look at his um, attacks here, uh, where is it? If you look at viral resistance, no, that's not it. Where is it? Blessing of Caduceus. Um, so when he has, or with this ability, Blessing of Caduceus, it turns his normal attack into Holy Panacea. Um, it removes zombie from all allies and heals LB gauge for all allies. Um, and this is also in his shift form. Um, so it heals zombie and uh, fills LB gauge. So that's kind of the best way of dealing with it. Um, if you need to remove zombie. Um, however, in terms of this current event, the zombies that give you the zombie effect apply zombie at the end of your turn. Um, and so when you start your next turn, you'll already be zombie and you can remove it. You'll just have to deal with it again later. So they're gonna keep on doing it every turn. It's kind of inefficient, right? So it's better in this scenario, this current event, just to make sure you don't have anything equipped that has regen on it. Don't use anything that heals you. Don't use anything that uh, gives you re-raise and just end the fight very, very quickly. Um, and most people that I've seen who are having a hard time with this have Sylvie in their party and they're just pushing auto attack. And Sylvie gives your whole party re-raise, which is gonna wipe out your party at the end of every turn. This is not good. So take Sylvie out of your party, take Sylvie off your friends list, um, and just don't, don't even have her set up right now so that people don't accidentally take Sylvie, you know, thinking it's going to be useful because it's not. I'm sure most people have already figured that out. Um, but, uh, yeah, just end the fight quickly. Um, and then, um, that's, that's kind of the best way to do it for the, the King Mog event. Now, in terms of the final stage, the, uh, the, the, the don't stop slashing or just keep slashing or whatever it was called. Um, you can end this fight very, very quickly by throwing a Phoenix down at the final boss. And this is an old school tactic um, that has been around for a long time in Final Fantasy. If you hit an undead with a Phoenix down or a life spell or a cure magic or in the very first Final Fantasy, the, uh, the banish spells, the Dia spells, whatever you want to call them, um, Bane spells, um, they do damage to the undead. Um, but you can just throw a Phoenix down and it kills the boss. Don't feel bad if you have to do that. Um, it's not cheating. It's nothing like that. It's built into the mechanics of the game. It's kind of a fun way to deal with it, you know. But you can definitely kill it in one turn if you have, like, a nice strong imperil. Really good damage dealers. Um, lots of things like that. It can be done. The hardest part about it is honestly dealing with the stone effect that the boss hits you with. Um, but if you just have a, enough, enough damage dealers um, in your team... Um, to potentially take out the the little zombies that are around them and just have somebody else throw a um, a phoenix down, you're good to go. So there you go. That's that's you know how we deal with zombies with a taste of their own medicine. Just use the ray the rays on them from phoenix down or a raise spell or a cure spell or something like that. And that's pretty much it. You know, with with it being the Halloween event, you know, I figured it'd be useful to talk about zombie and how it works and how we deal with it. Um, most often, you're just not going to deal with it at all. You're just going to find ways to play around it um, and uh, just prevent damage, prevent healing, take all your regen off and things like that. But if you need to get rid of it, you know, probably your best bet is going to be Kresnik if you have him. Um, but if you don't, Call Mia can do it and Lotus Mage Fina can do it on a limited basis. Um, that's pretty much it. If you've got a question for next week's video, feel free to drop a comment on Facebook or drop a comment on this uh, this YouTube video, and we'll be happy to try and take a look at that and um, answer whatever we can. Um, and yeah, we'll be back next week with another, another question. Take care until then. Be good to each other and make sure you are working hard on Clash of Wills. All right. See you later, guys.